It often happens that whenever I make a War Thunder video, Gaijin will create a change that doesn't actually fix the root problem, but makes the video irrelevant. This is especially true for my Fixing Top Tier video, which I made in November of last year. That was around the time that Russia was dominating that BR range. I stated that the top METs in the area were more or less balanced, and that the nations lacking behind simply need more support vehicles. IFVs, light tanks, tank destroyers, vehicles like those. Gaijin fixed, and there are some heavy air quotes there, the issue by adding the Leopard 2A6 to the German tech tree. The 2A5 was already arguably the strongest MBT in the game, ignoring the STRV-122. So the addition of an even more powerful tank threw everything out of whack. The 2A6 means that, effectively, an entirely new generation of tanks has to be added to the game. Gaijin has said that they're trying to add Leopard 2A6 equivalents into the game, but that hasn't happened yet. So I figured I could give it a shot. I'll be going over main battle tanks that are roughly equivalent to the 2A6, and if a nation needs them, support vehicles that could also be added to bolster lineups. Since penetration is also a big deal at top tier, I'll be specifying what rounds these MBTs should be using as well. Keep in mind that with how modern these tanks are, Gaijin is going to need to do a lot of guesswork. Anyway, I'll go in the order these nations appear in game. So first up is the US. The US has a lot of top tier support vehicles now, and though they have a lot of cool options for future additions, they're fine in that aspect. The only thing they need is a 2A6 equivalent, which I believe can be found in the M1A2 SEP V2. Most of the SEP V2's improvements are things that wouldn't have an impact in game, though there are a couple of things that would bring it up to snuff. For example, thermals for the gunner and commander are now Gen 2 standard, the armor is massively improved, and it can fire much more potent ammunition. In War Thunder, I think it should be added with M829A2, since that's roughly on par with the M53. If the armor enhancements prove to be lackluster, it could use M829A3 to balance that out. Germany obviously doesn't need a new MBT, but they could use a top tier IFV. For this, the Puma is a pretty obvious choice. I was hesitant to suggest it before, given it uses spike missiles, but since Gaijin has said they would implement spikes as direct line of sight fire and forget missiles, I think it would be fine now. Given how new the Puma is, Gaijin would likely add it with his base armor configuration, to make guessing protection much easier. With its 30mm cannon spike ATGMs, the Puma would be a very powerful vehicle. On Russia's side, they only need a new MBT and a modern light tank. I would recommend the T90M and the 2S25 Sprat SDM1. The T90M is pretty straightforward. As you can guess, it's a T90 with upgrades to its firepower, armor, and mobility. It has the same weak spots all the other Russian MBTs do, so I'll get straight to firepower and mobility. The 2A46M5 gun allows it to fire more modern ammunition, such as 3BM60, the round I think it should get in-game. It has the same engine as the T72B3, though I imagine the T90M would be heavier. The T90M also has a CITV. The Sprut is an air-deployable light tank, armed with a 125mm gun. The 125 is a version of the 2A46 optimized for light vehicles, so it can fire a lot of the same anti-tank ammunition. Combine this with a power-to-weight ratio of 28, and the Sprut would certainly be a tank worth getting. Britain doesn't have a ton of options. I don't think the new Challenger 3 would be a good decision, but there is something else. The Challenger 2 clip is, basically, just a Challenger with the L55K mounted into it. This would give it access to much better ammunition, like the M53. The Challenger 2 is already a tough nut to crack armor-wise. The only thing it would lack is mobility. I'd say Britain needs a modern light tank, but I'm drawing blanks, so I'll leave that to the British armor enthusiasts. Japan is kind of in the same boat. The only true 2A6 equivalent they have is a Type 10, but that's a bit of a mess in of itself. Gaiji could heavily fudge the stats, but I imagine that would make a lot of people unhappy. From what little we know, the Type 10 would be incredibly lethal. It appears to be very mobile, and has a rapid firing gun, with the reload time being clocked around 3 seconds. It also has Type 10 APFSDS, which is probably a bit better than DM53. To balance it out, Gaiji would likely give it fairly light armor. For China, the ZTZ-99A is the most obvious choice. Compared to the 99, the 99A improves mobility and protection, giving it new reactive armor and a 1,500 horsepower engine. I'm not familiar with Chinese ammo, so I'm not sure what it would get. I'd say that China needs a radar equipped SPAA, but Gaijin seems to be teasing one for this update. Unfortunately for Italy, they have no more options for MBTs. They could receive the Dardo IFV though. I talked about it not too long ago, but here's a short rundown if you don't want to watch that video. It's got a fast firing 25mm cannon, will be fairly mobile at 24 horsepower per ton, and also has spike ATGMs. Finally, there's France. When it comes to top tier, France needs a lot of help, but they also have a lot of options, so they get the most for this video. For their 2A6 equivalent, I would recommend the Leclerc Serie 21. Like the other MBTs, the Serie 21 has a lot of improvements that wouldn't matter in game, but it does have improved armor, which is one of the Leclerc's biggest weaknesses. I think it should fire OFL 120F2, which would bring it roughly on par with the 2A6 in terms of penetration. It would still have larger weak spots, but it would hit just as hard, and it would hit faster. For a top tier light tank, they could receive the SK-105A3. Main differences over the A2 are better armor, stabilization for the gun, and a better gun. The gun's a derivative of the M68, so it could gain access to export US 105 rounds. 
For a top tier tank destroyer, I recommend the VAB HOT, as the name implies. This is a VAB APC armed with a turret carrying 4 HOT missiles. After all the missiles are fired, the launcher is retracted and reloaded. The VAB is pretty fast, so I imagine it could get into firing positions pretty quickly. Unfortunately, there are no suggestions for Sweden. Their top tier lineup is already pretty solid, and besides, I don't think they have anything else that could be added, unless you made it into a multinational tree. That wraps everything up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.